All right, what we need to talk about is gonna be the trigger. To overstate the importance of the trigger is probably not possible. Uh, you have to understand that it is the last human input that you give to the weapon system in order to cause it to begin to fire. We always hear a lot of people talking about coming straight back on the trigger, straight back on the trigger. Well, the, the reason for this is because if you remember back to your third grade science class, what you would remember is those uh, tuning forks that has a little handle on it and then two pieces of metal that come around with little weights on the end. You tap it against something and it begins to vibrate. If you remember correctly, whenever you went while it was vibrating and you touched something, it would actually move away from what you touched, kind of bounce off of it. Well, the same thing is going on with these guns. So running these triggers right really doesn't have a whole lot to do with shooting. So we just want to make sure that we have everything going the right way. The gun begins to vibrate whenever it fires. There's an explosion going on inside there, lots of pressure, all sorts of violence going on inside. So if the gun is vibrating and the trigger gets pushed right or left, then it's going to cause the barrel to go right or left, pretty much the opposite of the way you're pulling. So if you'll look at the trigger, this is a standard AW trigger, and when I'm moving the mechanism right there, you'll see that the trigger actually moves between the raceways. In other words, the mechanism of the trigger is between these two steel plates. These steel plates are inserted into the gun, locked in, but the movement of the trigger is bound inside these two plates. That's why whenever you come straight back on the trigger, you want to make sure that we're coming back on the trigger in a straight fashion and the trigger is not being hit against either one of the outside steel plates. If that happens with the vibration, you'll end up with the shot being blown. Let's say you're in this fashion, pulling the trigger. And on this side, I don't know if Frank can see it, I can turn this uh, weapon over. You'll kind of see like that. If the, if the hand is on the, if the finger's on the trigger in this fashion, you can tell whenever it comes back, that it comes back and to the left. Back and to the left. What'll happen then is you'll see your round go to the right. If you're up here, this is a more common thing that you'll see, is a hand position about like this. That way, whenever you pull the trigger, it comes back and to the right, back and to the right. That causes your round to go off to the left. Whenever we're gonna fire the weapon, remember, we gotta have the proper hand position and able to support coming straight back on the trigger. So I need to get 90 degrees on there every single time. And if you'll notice, I'm not coming up and crushing the trigger as hard as I can. If I'm crushing the trigger, that's gonna really exacerbate any sort of flinch problem that we may or may not have. Another problem that you'll have is you'll see people that are trying to be so light on the trigger that whenever the gun fires, you'll see this and the finger will come off, sometimes flipping all the way out. So we don't wanna do that either. Whenever we come up to use the trigger, we'll just come in here. We got a good feel for it. We know that we have a good hand position. The grip that I have on my hand is about equal to a firm handshake. I'm coming back on the trigger. I've made the decision to fire. I get to the bottom of my breathing cycle. I come back on the trigger and hold it till the recoil pulse is over. Then remove the hand, run the bolt, find that position again, fire. Recoil pulse over. On and on and on. A lot of times whenever we have people come down here to rifles only, we'll see that they'll end up with a hand position something like this. The thumb not really over the top on like a Macmillan stock or a Remington stock and certainly not inside the thumb grip. It's irrelevant. It doesn't matter. Remember earlier we talked about it. What you have to do is come straight back on the trigger. Whatever hand position you have to get in order to achieve that coming straight back on the trigger is not wrong. Thank you.